everything going up, you barely pay your bills and have some so you maybe can buy groceries. And it's hard. That is Inga Marie Sands. She understands just how hard it is to make ends meet and keep a roof over your head. Last week, 10 News spoke to several families at Maryville's Thornhill Mobile Home Community who say they received eviction notices recently. Those homeowners say there aren't many places to put trailers in Blood County and the cost of moving or finding a new place to live, it's just too much. We heard from many of you after our first story and 10 News Blunt County reporter Libby Cunningham spoke with one woman about the realities of moving a mobile home. Libby. John Robin, Inga says she's been a homeowner for years, but when you own a trailer, you rent the land it sits on. That explains this eviction notice. An attorney told me that people being forced out of mobile home courts, it's been happening more since the pandemic. Homeowner Inga Marie Sands said she never expected to be living here, and she's grateful she found a place to live after being evicted earlier this year, but it came at a cost. There went my life savings that I had to pay and move, and, and here I am. I hope I can pay next month's bills. She called an attorney and got some help from some friends, so she was able to move somewhere new, but she's still unpacking since her life was upended in January. It's not cheap to move a trailer, and it takes a while to get the lights turned on. It's heartbreaking. I mean, I have a car. I, 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 slept, I have to sleep in my car. If my friend Susie hadn't said, you and your dogs come and stay with me. Attorneys for the landlord where Sands' home was say he bought the property Inga's home was on in January and didn't want to operate a mobile home neighborhood there anymore. He's allowed to do that. Sands and four other tenants were given 30 days to leave. Attorneys for the landlord where Sands' home was say he bought the property Inga's home was on in January and didn't want to operate a mobile home neighborhood there anymore. He's allowed to do that. Sands and four other tenants were given 30 days to leave. Daryl Winfrey, an attorney with East Tennessee Legal Aid, says oftentimes the laws favor landlords, but it's important for tenants to know their rights. It does fall on you to protect your own interests because in a lot of circumstances, someone else won't do it for you, even though it might be the right thing to do. Now, Inga and her dogs, Doug and Lucy, they're getting used to their new normal. People who I spoke to last week at the Thornhill Mobile Home Park they say they're still struggling. If you have any ideas on how these neighbors can be helped, visit WBIR.com and please shoot me an email. Back to you. We'll continue to follow it, Libby. Thank you.